Hey y'all, Scotty DTV, Cavalcade of Cool, and I got a uh, 51 Crosley, the Twisted Clown. I think y'all are gonna like this one. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a look at it. Jim, how are you, brother? Hey, good. Good to see you again, Scott. Buddy, it's always good to see it's you. It's always good. Tell me what you brought today. I brought you a 1951 Crosley called the Twisted Clown. Now, is that, was that the standard motor, or was that an upgrade back in 51? Yeah, I think it's a bit of an upgrade. It uh, came with a stamped out sheet metal four cylinder with a three-speed. A sheet metal four-cylinder. Yeah, they were just a thousand dollar car when it was new, so they were built pretty cheap. Now what what possessed, I mean it's very cool, don't get me wrong, nobody's gonna argue, but where'd the idea come from? Because I'm a little twisted. So. I know that, <laughs> I know that, but. No, actually I bought it from a guy up in Nevada Mills, just uh, outside of Angola, mechanic up here, Neil McDonald, great guy, but he got the building it and I think he just ran out of steam right and uh, I bought it several years ago probably four or five years ago in the dead of winter and drug it out in the snow and took it back to the shop and we just wailed on it and uh, I remember when it was in the basement yeah I wasn't sure if it was ever gonna get done yeah because it yeah. seemed like a back burner project you had other things going on then the next thing I know I see it's in paint yeah well, and then just... you tell me hey I'm gonna have that <laughs> show you get a spark in your butt you gotta go gotta go with it so no, it's cool it what turned color out is good. That? that's a house of color candy apple red it's it a candy over a silver silver base yeah yeah it's, oh, uh, we made a lot of changes uh, you know, it's just as you go, you just right. keep changing your mind, and this didn't work. It had a carburetor on it, and I thought, well, this thing needs more than a carburetor, so we put a supercharger on it and had to change the cowl, the hood, and actually crap the hood out of there and just cut off the front, chop the front of the hood. But you got the original down in there. emblem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually chrome, but it was so deteriorated that I took it to the wire wheel, brushed it off with solid brass, and we just polished it. It's got a actually like a ceramic insert in it in that right. red so it just worked out good the color and everything oh that's great and actually you spent some time in here didn't you oh yeah yeah i mean yeah, nice and, uh, marcus marquardt there in fort wayne did the did the upholstery for me and i tried bucket seats i had mustang seats i had cobra seats nothing fit and i thought we needed some room so we just made a bent seat i got grandkids that like to ride in hot rods right we made her so the kids can fit in here. I get me and two other ones, and that's about it. That's all you need, right? And then what, you got the fuel cell back here? Yeah, eight-gallon fuel cell, roll cage. After having getting it out and doing a few hole shots, I think we're going to put sidebars in it. Right. It's, uh, it's a little scary, which that makes it fun, but right. you got to make it safe, too. That's right. You don't want to hurt yourself. And then you went with the uh, airplane steering wheel? Oh, yeah. I had it scrapped out an old Sabre liner. From the boat? Yeah, from the boat. That's yeah. from the boat. That's wow. from the boat. Did the buttons so we, do anything? No, nope, I'm going to make this one the horn. Right. That's the only one that's functional anymore. No guns, they don't work. So. Right on. Yeah, well, man. And you got your boost gauge and all that? Yeah, boost gauge, fully gauged. Uh, everything in here is just hand formed and powder coated. And took a piece of aluminum and ground her up and made a dash out of it. Dude, it is and cool. She's man. running a power glide in it. He gets it to the ground. Right. Now this is normally we'd uh, look under the hood, but uh, you just, this is cool though. You left part of the hood and then you opened up the rest of it. Yeah, we chopped the, the hood actually was four inches higher. We chopped it and dropped it down because they were kind of obnoxious looking. And uh, it's original three, it's a 327. It's been pushed out to a 331. Dashing with a supercharger and a shotgun. Air cleaner on it. Demon carburetors. Oh yeah. Right on. It, how many horse do you think it is? It's pushing right just under 500. I'm, I'm kind of under driving it because of the fact it's kind of a high performance motor. It's got a little more dome on the pistons than I really should have for the supercharger. If I under drive it, I, I still get the max power out of the motor without pushing the bottom out of it. Right, all right. Yeah, we don't want to do that because oil on the tires would not yeah. be good in this thing. No, this thing's destined to go on its side. It is. The cowboy comes up with crazy stuff all the time, but you got to love them, you know? I mean, Tim just, uh, he builds cool stuff. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be all that functional. It just has to be cool. And uh, you've got to know, that is cool, man. And it's done nice, too. It's not like thrown together. He did a really nice job on it. I tried to talk him into autocrossing it, but that didn't work out. Tim, thanks so much for bringing it out, brother. Oh, man, thanks. It's good to see you again, Scott. And had a great venue today. And I'd like to just put a shout out to my guys at the shop. Steve Walsh has been my painter for 30 years. 
Ryan Lawson, a young underling that did come on. He's a heck of a painter. I want to give those guys a shout out. My daughter Kylie that runs my shop and right. does a heck of a job. She sure does. And she makes money much. when you can't. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. You bet. Folks, here you go. 51 Crosley, right? 51 Crosley from Scotty D TV, Cavalcade of Cool. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.